everyone, Haley here from The Foiled Plan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Cricut to make a super easy DIY project using SVG files and pattern HTV from Auntie Tay and a dollar store canvas. Now this video is actually only a partial video. I did film the full thing and that is over on Auntie Tay's channel and it goes over how I became a member and how I downloaded her SVG files. But if you're not a member, you can still do this process with your own SVGs. So first I wanna launch Cricut Design Space by clicking on the green logo up on my top toolbar. And then I'm gonna enter my login information for my Cricut ID. Immediately I'm gonna click on new project and then upload, which is at the far left side. I'm gonna click upload image, then I'm gonna open up my downloads folder and I'm gonna drag over the Mickey Love SVG bundle and once that background is lit up green, I can drop it. Now, like I mentioned before, I did film the beginning part of this video over on Auntie Tay's channel and that goes over how I actually got the Mickey Love SVG bundle. So if you're kind of sitting there like, what the heck, I missed this part, I don't know what I'm doing. That is totally cool, don't worry. Um, you don't even necessarily need to use the Mickey Love bundle. You can use whatever SVG file you would like and uploading it would be the exact same process. When this page comes up, you have the option of changing the item name or adding tags, but I'm just gonna click save. Then it will be the first item in my recently uploaded images. I click that and then click insert images. Now, because this uploads as an SVG file, everything is grouped together. So I just click once, head over here and click ungroup. Now I can click and drag a rectangle around any of the ones that I want to get rid of. And I'm left only with the one I want to make a project with. Now I plan to use heat transfer vinyl and put this design on a canvas. So I measured my canvas and decided that six inches was going to be the perfect width for my project. So I resized the SVG using the size menu at the top of the page and then I clicked make it. Now, as I mentioned before, I will be making this design using HTV and putting it on a canvas. So because it's going to be ironed on, I need to click this mirrored button so that everything is backwards because once I put it on the canvas and iron it on, it will be the right way. Once you click continue, whether you're using a USB cable or Bluetooth, the program will take a moment to connect to the machine. I always have my dial on the custom settings so that I'm prompted to set my material. I'm using Auntie Tay's patterned HTV pack for this project, so I'm going to select the setting iron-on, patterned, iron-on. Once you've set your material, you're ready to load your mat. Make sure you have your pattern vinyl with the fun side touching the cutting mat. That's the part that should be stuck down because remember, we turned our mirror setting on so the design is going to be cut backwards. When the cut is finished, just hit that button to unload the mat from the Cricut. And now you're ready to weed the design. I personally like to flip the mat completely upside down and then peel the mat away from the vinyl rather than the vinyl away from the mat. That way I'm not putting any creases in the vinyl. Now I'm just going to flip over my sheet of HTV so that I can see where my cut lines were and then I'm going to take out my paper trimmer so that I can only cut a small spot around where my cut lines were. That way I can still use the rest of this sheet of vinyl and I'm not wasting anything. You could just use scissors but I prefer to get that perfectly straight line and then everything looks sort of neat and tidy. Next, I'm just gonna take the packaging off the canvas that I purchased for $1.25 at my local Dollarama. If you're unfamiliar, Dollarama is just a chain of dollar stores that we have here in Canada, and I'm obsessed with it because it is where I get most of my blank items for my projects. Now, a lot of times people will turn these into reverse canvases, which involves actually removing the frame and attaching it to the front of the canvas. But I'm gonna show you a technique today so that you can keep the canvas exactly as it is, and you can still apply that heat transfer vinyl using pressure, and you don't have to worry about stretching the canvas or making it sag from pushing on it. 
But before we get to that, I'm just going to weed my design. And I find with heat transfer vinyl, especially this pattern stuff, it sort of pulls away from the transfer sheet like butter. All you have to do is take your weeding tool and just pull up the one corner and then once you get an edge up, you can really just pull the rest of it off. If you have to take any centers out, you can go ahead, use a Cricut weeding tool or any sort of tool that you have that would do the same trick. I absolutely love the way this SVG design turned out with the pattern vinyl. I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous at first because I wasn't sure how the pattern would translate and whether or not you would still be able to read the design, but especially once I put it on the canvas, the colors just worked so well together and I think it's still really easy to read. This is definitely a project that I'm going to have a hard time giving away. Anywho, in order to keep my canvas from stretching or sagging in the middle, I'm going to take a bunch of sheets of cardstock, enough so that when they're stacked together they're about the same thickness as the canvas itself. I'm going to lay it down on my craft desk, put my heat resistant mat on top of that, and then I'm going to take my canvas and push down on top of that, just to make sure that when I'm pushing on the center the canvas doesn't bow. Now I can take my design and I can lay that on top. Now I like to make sure that my design is perfectly centered on the canvas or as perfect as it could be. So I take my ruler and then I just measure in from both sides to make sure everything lines up. Now we're ready to actually apply the vinyl. So I'm just using my regular iron but you can of course use an easy press or a heat press if you have something like that. When I'm using heat transfer vinyl, I always have my iron on the highest dry heat setting. I use light pressure and I'm careful to move my iron around the piece fairly frequently so that it's not in the same spot for too long. Then using the tip of the iron, I like to go around the edges of the whole piece to make sure that they are stuck down. If when you try to pull back the clear sheet, it pulls the vinyl up with it, just go ahead and stick that back down and continue the process of ironing. Now this can take a little bit of time, so just be patient. When you're pulling back the clear sheet, it's important to go nice and slow and be as careful as possible, noting any spots that start to lift. If the vinyl appears to be all stuck down, continue to pull until the sheet is completely removed. And voila! That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Maybe it will inspire you to create something similar. Again, if you want to watch the full video about how I became a member and downloaded the SVG files, head over to Auntie Tay's channel and you can watch that video. I will also link it in the description below. If you want to purchase this patterned HTV or other craft supplies like it, Go to shopantitay.com and use my code THEFOILEDPLAN for 10% off your total purchase. Lastly, if you are interested in any of the technology or tools that I've used in this video, I will have them linked in my Amazon shop, which will also be in the description box below, so you can find everything easily. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Haley from The Foiled Plan, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. Bye.